Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. These are solely my own ideas and inspiration. I hope that you enjoy. The first order of business for today is to announce our 1000 subscribers giveaway winner. And the winner is Joanne McCullough. Please send me an email at jennycarddesigns at gmail.com and let me know that you won the giveaway and I'll be happy to send these products out to you in the mail. Congratulations. Thanks to everyone for watching, subscribing and commenting. I appreciate all of you. So let's jump in with this week's project for an elegant silver glitz glitter card. We'll be making this elegant, beautiful card that's jam packed full of silver sparkle. So these are the products that we'll need to get into this project. Starting off with some stamps from Gina K Designs. This is the You Have My Heart stamp set. We'll be using the hearts and the dies from this stamp set. I've also got the Smile stamp and die set and I'll be using a sentiment and the die from this set. And then I've got a, a mini Misty and I've got some silver glitz glitter gel and a silicone spatula and a stencil here that's got a sticky back to it. And I've also got some blue cardstock and some silver mirror cardstock and a craft sheet. So we'll start with the stenciling. I'm going to adhere my stencil over this piece of blue cardstock and I just want to get it lined up to make sure that I've got it nice and even all the way around. And I'm going to use the glitz glitter gel. I'll use my silicone spatula to mix up the glitter and the gel so that um, the adhesive gel isn't separated from the from the glitter and I'll take out a big heaping of that and start to apply this to my cardstock now I'm just using a downward motion and filling in all this the gaps on this stencil you can use any stencil for this project this stencil I'm not sure where it came from it doesn't have a brand or name on it um, it's just something I picked up at Michaels and it already has the sticky back on it so I don't have to spray it or anything it's a nice low tack and then I can just peel it up and stick it back to my acetate sheet when when I'm finished using it so I'm just applying the gel all over to fill in the little swirls on this stencil and then scraping up any excess and I'll put that back into my jar because we don't want to waste one sparkle on this glitter gel I love it so much it really packs a big punch now we'll peel off the stencil to show us our beautiful gorgeous sparkly silver background it really pops off of that blue cardstock it's really stunning so I'm just going to take my finger and wipe over the edge of my cardstock in case any of the excess glitter got on the edge so I don't want it to dry all hard and sort of crunchy. So we'll go ahead and we'll set that aside to dry for now and we'll pull in the stamps from the You Have My Heart stamp set and the mini Misty. I'll get them loaded up onto the door of my Misty and I'll use my anti-static powder bag because we're going to emboss these hearts. So I want to make sure that I get a nice clean emboss. So I'll just pat my cardstock with my anti-static powder bag and then I've got my Gina K Designs watermark and embossing ink and I'll ink up my stamps and then we'll pull in some embossing powder and I'm just going to sprinkle my embossing powder over my hearts and tap off any of the excess and then I'll pull in my heat gun and I will heat up these hearts until they're all smooth and melted and then we'll get the embossing powder cleaned up and go over to the sentiment now and I've got a piece of black cardstock here and the sentiment from the smile stamp and die set you make my heart we'll use the anti-static powder bag my Gina K Designs embossing and watermark ink. We'll get that stamped and then back to embossing again. I'll use some white embossing powder, some, some ultra fine detail for this one, and I'll heat that up until it's smooth and melted. And I'll pull in my Tim Holtz trimmer here, and I'll just trim up my sentiment to get a tiny little sentiment strip here. And then I'm gonna take my elements over to my die cutting machine. I have that off screen and I'll just tape up all of my dies to my cardstock and then I will run all of my things through my die cut machine. So I've got a bunch of extra hearts. I 
die cut the word smile a bunch of times and I also have a silver tag that I cut out of my silver mirror cardstock. So we'll start with adhering all of the smile words. I've got four of them stacked up together and I'll just use a little bit of glue and adhere the words together to create sort of a chipboard effect and it gives it nice dimension and stands up off of the card. And then I'll do the same to my hearts. I've got three hearts total for each one and we'll get them all glued up together so that they've got a little bit of dimension and they're nice and sturdy. And then we'll pull in the card base, a seven by 10 piece of cardstock here and I'm scoring it at five inches to create a five by seven card. I'll use my bone folder to crease the edge for this. And then I'm gonna grab my panel here with my silver mirror cardstock. I die cut a piece out of it but no worries, we're gonna cover this up. So just try to stretch my supplies here. So I've got some adhesive dot runner and I'm going to glue this panel down to my card base. And then I'll take my, my Glitz Glitter Gel panel and I'll glue that down over top of my silver mirror cardstock. And that is so gorgeous. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's coming along. So next we'll pull in some of the elements for that I have cut out. We'll start with the tag. Now I wanted to add a piece of ribbon to this tag and it only has a little tiny hole in the top. So I'm gonna pull in some black sheer ribbon here. It's not gonna fit in that hole. So I'll show you a little trick here. I'll grab my little craft mat here and a pen blade. And I'm just gonna cut a little slit, just the tiniest little slit out of the, the tag. And it's gonna create a spot where I can feed my ribbon through nice and easy and it won't bend or, or twist up the cardstock. So I'll just make a little angle cut on the tip of my ribbon to make it easier to feed through that little hole. And then I will get my ribbon kind of situated the way I want it and then snip off the excess. And then I'm gonna grab some Baker's twine and this is um, just a, something I had in my stash. It's some silver and white Baker's twine and I'll just tie a little bow on there and I think it just adds a cute little touch to that tag. So we'll get that all tied up, get a cute little bow tied onto there. And then I've got some foam squares here. Uh, as usual, I always put a little bit of extra just in case, you never know. Never too many foam squares. So I'll get this little tag adhered on a sort of like a wonky angle on my panel to create some really fun interest. And then I'm going to adhere my little hearts and we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna pop those up with some foam tape as well. So we've got multiple levels of dimension. I really like that. So we'll get all of those hearts adhered down. And then I just kind of felt like I was losing my word in the background. I just, we had that nice black ribbon and black sentiment and I felt like the word smile needed to be black as well. It would tie all together nicely and help it stand up off that card. So I cut one more word smile and glued it on top of my stack. And then I adhered the little sentiment strip, you make my heart. And I just put that on some foam tape and then glued down the word smile. Now, as usual, I always lose the little tittles for the eye. So my way around that is usually matching a little gem up that coordinates with my sentiment and that's what I've done here. So I'll just use my gem picker to help me adhere that and then we are going to call this card done. Here is a close-up look at the finished project with all of its sparkle and shine. This is an absolutely beautiful card that can be used for uh, weddings, anniversaries, um, just because I love you, Valentine's Day. I think because of the color it can, it can be masculine or feminine. I hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial and you've gotten a little bit of inspiration for some of your, your supplies. I especially love that glitz glitter gel. It really makes a project next level. So here on screen are my social media links if you want to touch base with me, if you want to connect and see more of my work. Thank you so much for watching. I really truly appreciate all of the support from each and every one of you and all of the comments, the likes, the subscribes. And just so you know, I read every single one of those comments and I really, really, really appreciate it. Coming up on screen here, a few videos that I think you may enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would really love to have you along my card making journey. So click that subscribe button. So thanks so much. Have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.